Today it's not a day of skating here in the Wistuweso ice track, though it's going to be absolutely one of the biggest retro conventions that we know here in the Netherlands. We're going to be hunting for new stuff to record here on the channel because this is one of the best places to look for, like say unique and let's say obscure stuff with 500 different tables of all kinds of products. Think about Pokemon, retro games, but also when it comes to let's say modern games, everything can actually be found here. By getting on the convention, the first challenge is to defeat Dark Vader and his gang because they were also here on the convention absolutely awesome beautiful costumes when it comes to the cosplay and getting more of a convention vibe going on but let's go with the flow and let's go One of the reasons I love to go to this particular convention is a simple reason because not only it's the biggest one when we can find every single time new products where retro gaming is getting more and more expensive every year, there are still hidden gems on conventions, but you need to dig deep. And I think that is one of the challenges that I love when it comes to, let's say, retro game conventions. Yes, I can go to Evil Bay or I can go to my local marketplace and just buy random stuff. That is easy, that works so much faster sometimes, but I really miss the thrill of the hunt when it comes to retro gaming. And looking onto this, let's say, crazy huge 500-ish tables, let's say, convention, there is actually so much that we can find and at first you're thinking retro game convention is going to be all retro but you can actually find so much different products so when it comes to the playstation era from the playstation 1 all the way to the playstation 5 games can be found including also when it comes to other let's say peripherals in the end it's absolutely not but i'm hunting for that city unique and you know the crazy stuff my mission to today is just to walk around find products that i can review and just showcase you on the channel and I do have some couple of things I already noticed before even recording this video. So, and also in the end, we're going to do a loot video or a loot haul video because I did pick up a lot of cool stuff that we're going to be reviewing and checking out here on the channel. But if you need a break when it comes to say buying stuff, Custom Arcade was also on the convention where you can play all kinds of cool retro games on this classic case but also on this shooter cabinet and he also even had a virtual pinball for display and for playing. Nevertheless there was a lot of cool stuff that we can do and it was absolutely a great overall experience when it comes to let's say playing some old school retro games. Play and learn. And that is because of the Home Computer Museum, a new addition to the convention where we can play all kinds of cool stuff. Old school Duck Hunt on the NES, or he also implemented a Philips CDI, and even has the option to play some old school games like Theme Hospital, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and I've noted that they were having some old school shooters as well. Nevertheless, it's absolutely awesome that they added this addition to the convention so we can just play some games. I did notice this interesting, let's say, thing going on with the seller. We had the opportunity to win prizes. Yeah, there was all kinds of different, let's say, buy-ins where you can just basically get yourself a free spend and you can just win cool prizes and discount codes in his store. It was a very interesting one and the first time I have ever seen it. But if you're feeling hungry after playing all of these games and just looking for stuff to buy, we can also get yourself like some Dutch delicacies like the old school fries with in croquettes. All right, so I'm going to bring you with me with the hunting here on the convention. I just tried to record everything I just watched, but it's quite difficult because there was otherwise like hours of like say video footage made no sense whatsoever. So I wanted to give you a quick highlight of the hunting and just to showcase what can we get and find here. So you find the rare random stuff, but one of the let's say sellers had like a full booth of let's say metal cases. 
personally the first time that I ever seen like a booth full. I must say the steel cases, I was completely addicted to these things, but for me it doesn't feel that special anymore. Where I love the way how they look. Look at this particular one, the Dragon Ball. This fusions, man, this thing looks absolutely nice, but I'm kind of done with steel books to be honest. I also find these very strange, let's say, cool looking beefcake characters from Pokemon. Uh, I don't know if they're like officially released or only from AliExpress. So also when it comes to like finding game consoles, some sellers like repackaged everything. Some of them told me they, they cleaned it all up, but I also found a lot of board games. So it's just so random. When I'm just bringing you with me on this video footage, you can just see how much different stuff there is on one, let's say one seller sometimes. So when it comes to recording these things, it's always quite difficult because I need to just look at my camera sometimes to see if I'm actually like recording the right things I wanted to showcase here on the video. But yeah, we don't have like 100%, let's say focus on, let's say searching for products. But I found a lot of, let's say NES games too, with the Box. Let's see if we can find some interesting other products in here. It's like in Trust GTX, I think controller it was. Those things are freaking horrible, by the way. A complete unbox, like say PlayStation Portable for 80 euro. That is not a bad deal if the thing is actually in good condition. And PlayStation Mini, also there, I noticed a lot of different prices. Uh, realizing that I personally already paid too much for mine over here. Over here we're having like PlayStation games, some DS games and other craziness. We're having Super Famicom, the Japanese version from the IKS games. Good prices. So if you don't want to have the boxes just a cartridge, you can just find them. And that's one of the things I also find very intriguing. If you want to search a different region, because over here we have in Paul. And if you want to get into like US or like in Japan, some of the conventions, you can find so much stuff. You can just see there are all kinds of, let's say, sellers. So PlayStation 2, 3, 4, uh, yo, there is so much. Galaxy Fight, that was a quite okay price. Yeah, this Galaxy Fight game is super expensive nowadays, so I'm not going to be picking that one up. And yeah, here we have like some random Blu-rays, the complete Harry Potter, complete eight film, like say collection. You know, that is the things that you just randomly find. I asked my friend that came with me, he's a big Harry Potter fan, but he already owned all of the movies. Beside that, there is so much stuff you can see, like the one other, like say hidden gem, or like say this booth, has all kinds of like big box games, Guts and Carters, DNA, Danger. I love those weird names. You know, there are so many cool things. Let's see if we can find something that I owned back in the day. I think like when I started let's say collecting for PC, I don't own a lot of big box PC games anymore because I sold them as a child. This is, oh yeah, yeah, this is the one. I could never play it on my Windows PC, the FX Fighters, but look at this box. Man, this box looks so cool. I miss, I really miss the big box games. It was such an amazing time. Feeling like you're buying something premium with a very thick manuals. But this seller has like a huge difference, like say the all kinds of, let's say rare, but also like unknown titles for me. Here I think like another PS1. This one is okay condition. There's no price, so yeah, whatever. You know, I didn't ask the seller what he wanted for it. Okay, next up, let's see. I also picked up this Time Crisis game because, yep, I bought myself something else that is, comes with it. I noticed this PlayStation 2 television, complete in box, absolutely cool. I made a separate review about it. I did own it without a box, but yeah, I do have double feeling about that Sony television. Going further, there is so much actually stuff that we to see over here. And I sometimes don't even know where to look. Ooh, look at this. Never seen that Atari portable thing. That is very awesome. If you're looking to search for an old Nintendo DS console, there were a lot of box versions and also some loose ones. The Game Boy, this one is an absolutely pristine condition. Look at this. If this was an original channel, at least the screen at front was the replaced, 1 on 25 euro. Those Game Boys are getting more and more expensive because a lot of them are not original anymore and are being used for modifying. So this seller has all kinds of cool, let's say, hidden gems. One of the other things is that this guy was selling all kinds of custom-made pieces. That's one of those art things you find on convention. He even had a special offering of a lot of discount because he wanted to stop making them, but they look absolutely cool. I love that Google one on the cloud and the Gogeta. So I found a Neo Geo AAS on the convention. Wow, this is absolutely awesome. That is maybe the first time in years I have seen one. These things were absolutely like legendary. He was asking 450 euro for it. 
yeah unfortunate it is not a mint condition but if it's worth it that is something you should decide having a cheap game that is something you can find a lot on the convention with special sales but also like two euro games xbox 360 controllers all kinds of let's say like cartridge based you can find all kinds of cool things in here and that's what i mean if you're going to be deep dives in this let's say rabbit hole of games over here you can find even like old school multi-game cards i don't collect them whatsoever by the way the newer generation is so much better from aliexpress the new generation of game watches this guy has like a cool collection of zelda games from the old nex and box and it seems to be those prices are going up every single year and even having the wii u gamecube version and Game Boy advance sp oh man that thing look absolutely epic the n64 and super nes version yep this guy has an amazing zelda collection and i just needed to highlight this going further into the let's say budget corner this person whoa look at this like so many loose cartridges so mind if you're going to be buying a lot of them i would not be surprised if you can wiggle a little bit about the price to get a better deal also surprised how many master system i found on this convention and some other cool things like the sega wireless controllers but i don't really need them because nowadays we do have a bit though and yeah they are like such a cool good quality with 2.4 gigahertz a lot of cool classic games like Sega Mega Drive over here, Michael Jackson, Wambo 3. Oh man, you know it's almost endless when it comes to the stuff that I actually found. Nevertheless, there is a lot of cool stuff that I just wanted to showcase over here. But the thing I was really surprised by is actually how much different stuff you can just find on here. Where it's called the Retro Game Convention, you can also find a lot of plushes from all kinds of movies or series. If you want to deep dive into the rabbit hole of collector edition of the Switch, also here like a very huge and beautiful variation of different kind of collector editions. I did also notice a lot of vintage and also like very strange looking action figures and very cool looking collectible items when it comes to Pokemon related products. But let's do an overview of the products I've picked up and of course the upcoming videos because I was just hunting for products to review here on the channel. So let's talk about that. Alright, so what did I actually buy on the convention? A lot. But let's start off, I have the bag over here with stuff. So let's start off with some plug and play action with this very strange one. I've paid 4 euro for it. I just love these plug and play the things and I can tell you we can make so many wrong, I say mm, wicked intros with this. Like, yeah, you will see it in the main video. But it was another thing I picked up when it comes to plug and play. At first I found one complete in box, but I went for this one with this very nice case and you maybe not believe me but i've paid one euro for this seriously like one euro i don't know if it's going to be working but where i don't love i don't really love playing these sport games sega genesis controller fake one with let's say an one euro control man i needed to check this out so we're going to have two plug and play videos coming up so that's going to be a lot of fun so let's move on to the other one and let's see what i picked up more all right, so next up we have this Super GP. So I already reviewed the controller for the Super Nintendo and I've noticed there was one for the Mega Drive. I think it was also one for the PlayStation 1. I don't know 100% for sure. And there is one for the 3DO. But this is a controller you will hate or love. For me, it's absolutely the best controller for playing fighting games. So that's going to be absolutely fun. Yeah, 40 euro was the asking price. I think I paid around like 30 or something. So it's still quite a lot of money for an old controller, but these things are quite rare. You can find them on eBay, but they are going to be super expensive to import them from Japan. Okay, so when it comes to light guns, there was one particular one I wanted to check out. As a child, I always had this particular one with lethal enforcers. And I can remember, it. I have some bad memories of this. I can never like get it to work. So I just wanted to see if this one, see, does this actually work? So that is one of the things that we're going to be playing i also picked up this terminator arcade game for the mega drive oh i can still remember that i let's say played it from a, a friend of my head is so i played it with a controller that was not absolutely that was not the way you want to play this so man this is going to be absolutely cool to use the the, the konami gun does this actually work and how does it work and there was another game there there was one there was a game there where is it 
Yeah, there he is. <laughs> so here we the lethal enforcer. This is the like the setup. This is going to be a cool video. There's still some video corn. I'm guessing this is like an extra rental or something. Nevertheless, so absolutely awesome, man. So this is going to be a cool video to make. And I also have the Sega CD version. So I think going to be a mixing of the Konami, like say the Justifier light gun. I'm going to make all kinds of cool things if this bloody thing even works. So this is going to be absolutely epic to check out more light gun stuff but okay so let's go further because i had so much stuff i picked up all right next up the m3 pocket uh yep, i paid five euro for this and this is in the ad games box this is exactly the same box of the first generation of ad games handhelds and he had like three versions he had the green the red and the blue and i went for the blue one because it's actually on the cover and uh, yeah this is a very cool let's say i love these like strange looking one 2.5 digital crystal lcd so you know a lot of cool things like bubble master so i'm just was really curious about this if this is going to be working i think it's still new in box i don't know who sell those or what kind of country also sold these things 30 games included but yeah more handhelds because of the handheld addiction i just needed to check it out so in the video i already mentioned that i had the time crisis the raising storm and the reason why because i finally got myself the time crisis for gun con 3 yeah this is not like a light gun situation so this actually works with sensors so think about like the gun for ir or the retro shooter first generation so that's going to be interesting. So this is one I never owned. And with the high graphic, high, high, high definition graphics of, wait a moment. Yep, there we go. <laughs> of the nice looking PlayStation 3 graphics. So this is one of the things. It's going to be a lot of reviewing about, let's say, light guns. I paid five euro for the game. I think I paid around like 100 freaking euro for the time, time crisis for, because this is a very expensive one. So it was a fellow collector on the convention I know for many years. So absolutely awesome to get this from a pretty good deal. So the end part, I went for this gun con. Yeah, I bought a lot of light guns, I'm going to be honest. And I wanted to make a lot of more videos because for me, like point blank, it's absolutely a very cool game. And I always wanted to check it out. So this is a complete um, box in a very good condition. So it's kind of funny that I just noticed that they put a name on here. Oh yeah. Nevertheless, I got another game, so I'm going to be switching it out to make it in better overall condition. It even came with a demo. So let's see, Ridge Racer Type 4 Collector's Demo. Okay, that's cool. Free demos, who doesn't love that in nowadays? Okay, so this is one of the things I'm going to be separately reviewing here, doing some cool gameplay about this. And I also have the Point Blank 1 and 2, and I think it was even a 3. So it's going to be looking up, making a complete collection, but first, just going to be looking into the game. And yep, I got another one of the game thingies. Yep. I've bought the thing I always had as a child, and this is actually the Time Crisis G-Con 45 in very good condition. I already have the game, but I just wanted to have the box and make a separate video about it. It comes with a game, I'm just going to leave it as is, so that is absolutely epic. But this next thing maybe makes no sense, but I just needed to check it out for what are the differences. And let me explain what I mean with this. I also picked up this one. Yeah, another time crisis, but this is the Japan version. And what I understand of like, he tested it. This is from Dragonfly Amusement. I think I paid, yeah, and this here it goes. I think this paid around like 90 euro for it, for this particular one, the PAL version, and this was 50. So the only thing I do wonder, oh, there are like coins in here. No idea why that is. One thing I do find interesting is they're actually in game in here because that's not how it feels. All right, so let's check that out and let's see if he gave me only a gun with a box or is there actually a game in here? That's one thing I didn't fully understand. Ah, there we go. Okay, it comes with the game. Yeah, <laughs> I completely like forgot about it. But yeah, I do have like a modified PlayStation. I can actually use this, but you can just see that we have the gray version and we have now also the black light gun. So it's kind of cool. So I also wanted to check it out, maybe do a separate video, maybe in combination, I don't know for sure. But for now, let's just take a close look at it later. The box, you can just see how in good condition it is. It's maybe the best box, but also it feels like different overall quality when it comes to the print. So man, you can see Point Blank 2, Time Crisis, Paul, Time Crisis, Japan. Man, it's going to be absolutely a light gun fetish. Mm, yeah, baby. 
from the same seller as the Japan Time Crisis from Mr. Dragonfly here. I bought the Justifier. Yeah, I never owned this one, so I wanted to check it out. Another thing I wanted to do is look into some different games in the future in video. So Crypt Killer, Lead Enforcers 1 and 2 will be fun. We're having over here this project Horned Owl. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I've never heard of it. So I'm going to be looking into the Diatology. I know I don't know if I own this game. I think I do. Uh, Area 51. If they are like affordable, that is another question. But it would be fun to check out this particular justifier and combine them with different games. So yeah, he posted it on this page, and this game is or this game combined with the Konami Justifier. I think it's going to be absolutely a very cool, I say, overall experience. Okay, so this is one of the things, or basically this is one of the many things I've picked up, and this is absolutely not. It's going to be an, just a craziness of, like say, light gun stuff. And the reason I also owned a lot of products that I wanted to check out here on the channel, and I have no idea how to basically like close this thing. How do I need to do this? I got a ready brain. There we go. Is this the way? Yep, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to be having a lot of fun in the upcoming month. I can say with all kinds of, let's say, light gun things. But yeah, there was still one thing I'm going to be cleaning on my desk because there's one thing that is absolutely awesome. I've never seen it. Let me know in the comment if you have ever seen something like that because this is maybe the grill or maybe the best find. You know what they say? You need to save the best for last, right? A couple of conventions ago, I've noticed this huge tower and I was really intrigued by it, thinking what the heck is this thing? Realizing this thing is an Xbox 360 inside a huge case. Yeah, personally, and that is the thing. Did you ever seen something like this? I have never seen something like this before. All right, so the seller itself has 75 euro for it, got a small discount, it was kind of nice of him to do that. But this is going to be absolutely an awesome video. Xbox 360, there was the only sign he put on there on the case. But when you're looking at it, look at, look at how big this thing is. It's kind of huge. And yeah, this is going to be a separate video. It's going to be absolutely cool. But why did they do this? It's very simple. Because look at the power supply. This is the first generation of Xbox 360. So the red ring of death is absolutely an issue. And maybe that's the reason why they put this in a case. Nevertheless, man, this should be something very special to check out here on the channel. There was a seller owning a PS1 box. I wanted to have a PS1 complete in box, only as 10 euro for IKS games. Let's see, I can remove this thing. Need to be very careful. Yeah, see, that's the reason why they shouldn't put anything on there because it already damaged the box. Yeah, nevertheless, this is, I think, the number for this, like, say, administration. So let's remove that too. Let's see if there's a horrible sticker. Not that bad. The box is not in perfect condition, but there was one thing I've noted. Look at this. Like, this is absolutely cool. Inside, like, also, this is not in good condition. It just came with a controller and a power supply. I'm more like, 10 euro, that's a bargain. I've been hunting on the convention, and I've noticed was one seller asking 50 euro for one complete in okay condition. You can see, like, there was no decoloration of the case itself so everything looks in pristine condition for the yeah the age actually he told me that he basically yeah he told me that he like tested out everything out there's not going to be like checking out later on but it's kind of cool to have like a piece one complete in box in the collection paid now 60 euro for it i think it's not a bad deal itself i also in the video noticed that there was one for 35 euro but that was like kind of yellow and kind of filthy so i don't mind paying a little bit more sometimes if it's in good condition Okay, so this is actually what I've picked up. I hope you really enjoyed this video of the hunting on the biggest convention here in the Netherlands. Yeah, let me know what is your favorite item that I picked up. I think it's going to be absolutely fun. Subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, because we're having a lot of cool videos coming up. And I have so much stuff that I want to check out here on the channel. So we're going to have like an amazing grind of retro products and other kind of like craziness. Thank you all for watching and it would be great to see you in the next video.